All right, I don't know what the weather's like where you are, but over here it is uh, 100 plus degrees, so there's no uh, junkyard uh, hunting today and no working in the garage because it's a, like a sauna in the garage. So anyway, uh, just uh, on the internet and found uh, these five project cars for under five thousand dollars so let's take a look okay the uh, owner says this is a 1971 Datsun 260 um, he's asking thirty five hundred dollars for it but um, it's got to be a mistake somewhere because as far as I know as far as I remember and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong but uh, the 260 was only uh, it was a one-year only car which I think was 1974 uh, so either this is a, a 1971 Datsun 240 or this is a 1974 Datsun 260. Uh, anyway, the uh, body uh, appears to be a little bit rough. Uh, looks like they, they fiberglassed in some body kits and uh, looks like the rear wing. Uh, they did it on the two wings there to match the, uh, the spoiler on the deck. Uh, so it looks like the, the body work's been done. There, there does seem to be a little bit of a a dent uh, on the front fender but uh, nothing too serious I'm looking at the rest of the pictures the engines there um, lots of parts inside and lots of spider webs inside too uh, but it looks to be fairly complete um, and uh, I think just looking at the rear here it looks like at some point it was it was red um, but it looks like all the parts are there uh, needs to full restoration though but According to the description, it's been sitting a long time, taken apart to install a body kit and paint, but it was never completed. Um, it says all the parts are in the car. It's an original engine transmission, but it hasn't been run in over 25 years. Uh, and it says that the floors are rusted. Uh, there's no pictures of the of the floor, uh, so I'm just going to take the uh, the owner at its word, but uh, it's going to be a lean sale, so I guess they don't have the title. Looks like a decent project. Okay, this one might be the favorite of the group that I'm going to show you today. It's a 1987 Toyota Supra, uh, asking for $5,000, uh, clean title in hand, um, on non-op, so there's no back fees, uh, but uh, it says it needs a tow. It's an unfinished uh, project with multiple new, new parts and accessories, and it said the engine was uh, rebuilt uh, several years ago. I guess the upper was done by Roseville Machine Shop and the lower was done by Cascar Machine Shop. So I don't know why you split the motor up and send it to two different machine shops, but eh, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, just looking inside, love the red velour. That's so uh, so 80s. Um, and uh, there's some pictures of, of all the parts uh, that need to go. So I'm assuming the engine's not in the car. Um, but from the outside, the body works looks pretty decent. Um, don't see any major dents, although it looks like the pictures of uh, uh, had just the car had just been washed. Uh, but uh, these uh, early Japanese uh, sports cars are really starting to go up in value, so this might be an opportunity to get in early on the trend. Uh, the interior looks a little faded, but uh, in otherwise in, in decent shape. Uh, but man, yeah, again, love that red velour. But uh, I think this might be the favorite one of the group that I'm showing you guys today. Uh, again, 1987 Toyota Supra asking for 5000 bucks. So somebody go get it before I do. All right, here's a nice uh, 1972 Triumph TR6 asking for $4,500. Uh, and it's a uh, um, nice shape. Looks like the uh, there's some parts here in the trunk. Uh, looks like from the tunnel. Uh, just by looking at it, it looks like the, the 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 cover in the center. So maybe the interior has been yep. Interior looks like it's been opened up a little bit, but uh, I think the carpet looks fairly fresh. Uh, those seats are not original. I think they've been recovered. They're supposed to be uh, vinyl seats. Obviously, the uh, the drop top needs uh, needs some work. Needs a brand new drop top. But the the rest of the body uh, seems like it's in decent shape. Uh, and that uh, nice royal blue color, or whatever blue, medium colored blue, it's a nice nice color. Uh, engine looks like it's in the car, and it's got uh, a chrome valve cover on it. It looks like the interior is done at some point, because I, I don't think this velour uh, was original, even on the door cards. It's got some velour inserts, which aren't uh, part of it. But uh, 
I like these uh, these overriders on the bumpers. They're nice. It's got a rear luggage luggage rack, um, and just a nice uh, nice decent uh, honest project car. I think it's been repainted at some point because it's got uh, black on the inside of the uh, uh, the engine, and you can see the sticker here peeling away, and it looks like it was that mustard color, which is such a classic period correct color um, mustard, and it's been repainted a few times from. I guess mustard to, to black and then at some point to this blue. Uh, but it looks like um, it would make a decent uh, decent driver once it's restored. Uh, again, all the parts are there. and um, oh, Actually, let's see, the gauges seem to be missing. So let's see what the, uh, the description says. The uh, engine runs good, transmission is good, uh, but needs a restoration. Uh, solid body, missing hood, okay. so. That's what I don't see. Uh, I thought the hood was just open, but it looks like the hood's completely missing. So you need to source one of those. And then it's missing two gauges, uh, but otherwise it's got a good clean title uh, on hand. And uh, I think you could put it back together for fairly cheap. So anyway, so let me go get this. Okay, this one could be a really low buy-in or it could be a complete money pit, but it's a 1981 Lancia Beta and is only asking for $2,500 and uh, let's see it's a 1981 Lancia Beta Coupe five-speed uh, it's not currently running and he said the engine does not turn over but the body's in good shape has a clean title uh, hasn't been registered in uh, since 04 so no longer in the system no no back fees um, let's see and he said he's, he's got a owner's got a trailer and can deliver anywhere in in Northern California so uh, really interesting car. Uh, you don't see a lot of Lancias on the road, um, but this one uh, looks like it's got bits and pieces from the things. Those those door handles look like they're off of a Fiat. Uh, so I think with a little bit of research, you could uh, get some parts for this and, and get this running and and have the only Lancia on your block. Uh, but uh, it's, it's really body looks fairly straight from the pictures. Uh, it's very complete. Uh, the engine's there. It's a bit rusty inside, but uh, it's probably a little four-cylinder. Probably can pull it out. It's, oh, it looks like it's been resprayed at some point because inside the engine compartment, it uh, looks like the car was originally blue, and it's been painted either black or this really dark blue, uh, but it was originally this medium shade of blue. But it looks all there. It looks like the interior seats need to get recovered, but the rest of the, uh, it looks like there's some cracking on the dash, so it's got a dash cover on it. Uh, but otherwise, oh, look at that. It's a uh, Abarth uh, steering wheel. That's usually off of uh, the Fiat. Abarth is the uh, performance division of, of Fiat. Um, and uh, the seats look like they work. Look at those rear seats. And then underneath it was white, so I'm not sure what color this car was originally, if it was white or if it was blue or what's going on. Uh, but here's the trunk, looks pretty clean. Underneath the trunk it looks like, maybe that's blue, just um, just the shade of the of the uh, uh, the picture makes it look like it's white. Underneath looks pretty solid too, a little bit of surface rust, but nothing nothing structural from the pictures, so yeah be kind of interesting. Okay, and now we've got a 1986 Alfa Romeo Spider, and uh, this is the typical uh, ran when parked. Uh, so the owner uh, says it's just been sitting around collecting dust, uh, and it doesn't currently run, but it did before parking it. So uh, body looks very straight. Uh, I think this is a graduate model, uh, which means it's, it's uh, a basic, no radio, um, no AC. Uh, but it looks like there's a radio installed. Uh, but it looks like, uh, uh, and looks like there's AC installed. So I always thought the uh, graduate didn't have uh, uh, AC or radio. It was just a basic, uh, basic Alfa Romeo. But uh, maybe this one's been messed with. So you can see the engine's intact. It's white. Top looks like it's in decent shape. Um, I think just with a little bit of cleanup. This might be uh, uh, easily salvageable, uh, but nice looking car. Uh, interior looks like it's in decent shape. Don't see any rips in the in the seats. Dash looks like it's not cracked, so uh, wouldn't take too much to get this running, I think. Uh, just maybe a little engine work. My guess is um, some of the electrical 
has gone bad, uh, maybe just a little starter fluid and be able to fire this thing right up. So, uh, nice deal at $3,500. That's uh, for a 1986 Alfa Romeo Spider. All right, so these were the five project cars I was able to find, uh, all of them under $5,000, so low buy-in. And, uh, you know, with the exception of the Lancia, I think it'll be easy to find parts uh, for most of these cars to fix up. And, uh, you know, you'll have yourself a nice little project. And I think these are um, fairly uh, desirable uh, cars. So I don't think you're going to lose uh, any money by buying any of these and, and fixing them up. Uh, you may not make a lot of money, but uh, I doubt you're going to lose any money because the way inflation is and the way that the collector, uh, classic car collector market is going, you know, I think these will eventually appreciate or, or at least maintain their value. So. Anyway, uh, let us know in the comments which one you, your favorite one is. I think mine, uh, I said earlier, was that Toyota Supra. I just think the uh, Japanese uh, car market, classic car market, is going to explode. You know, I think the, the American one is out of reach, and the European classic car market's had a good run, so I think it's time for the Japanese uh, to start appreciating value. So, anyway, thanks for watching.